that's why it's gonna last like five days or seven days to be ready. And every day we need to break the cup. But in the other building that they have big brown party, they finish and they need to start it again. 30 minutes after the rain. Wow. So it is really, really frequent. So you need to start it work. Hard work. Hard work. Okay, yeah. we use machine. I smell the food they grow. Grow cookies. And they break also with the wood. Awesome. We burn the cat, we burn the wood. We burn the wood to get like the hot air that dryers need to dry the coffee. But also the quality is not going to change. Sun or dry? Same, same quality. Same quality. Same quality. Yes. Same Another option to dry coffee with sun. Elevated beds are African beds. So right here it uses to dry but not a lot of coffee. And the net will allow the air to circulate throughout the beach. Okay? And when we dry coffee here, we move from here with him. So we just take it in here. Because they're gonna put the coffee in sacks or in big tanks. Because the coffee after we dry, you need to rest two or three months. The coffee is like a They need to rest to provide flavors. So that means that if we dry and roast, no good flavors in the coffee. So that's why it's really important. Long process. Uh, yeah, because now let's think about it. How many years has already passed since I told you that we planned this? How many years? Three, 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 four sometimes. Four to five. Four to five, yeah. Exactly. Then remember for the year that they were the nurses. Okay? Mm. Uh -huh. So for you can drink a really good cup of coffee for a new plant. Then one year. Because then the coffee from they produce once a year. Okay? And it takes you minutes to brew your coffee. Ten minutes. Push the button. Put Ooh, the that's right. me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and also, when we rest, the coffee is not ready. We need to apply another step. I'm going to show you right here. I'm going to show you what happened here. I'm going to show you the coffee that we have. I want you to see this. See. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. that's dry. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you remember the seeds? Yes. Okay, so if we want to use for seeds, keep them that way. Stay one. Stay one of them. Stay one. Everybody. If we want to use for a coffee that we need to roast, oh. Oh, it's good. <laughs> we remove that shell after we rest. You can do it. Let's just remove the shell. Ah, uh, okay. Why don't you have this? I'm gonna tell you what is that. Okay, then we get the coffee bean, right? Still. Okay. We also cut that shell parchment. Long time ago, the people removed this by hand. One by one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Nowadays, it's with a machine, right? Okay, we use the parchment <laughs> for compost 
or if not in the dryers, we can warm this. Okay? Also, Sangag day. If you take a look to the coffee, let me see the coffee bean that you have. That's good, that's good, that's good, and that's good. You, you see our beans and this one. Okay, the co when, the, when the coffee is in that way, the coffee is coffee, the name is coffee and parchment. Without the parchment that is the shell that we remove, the name is green beans, green golden beans. beans. Okay, but if you compare the one that you have in your hand, and the coffee that we have right here is completely different, right? Right there, it's, you see that one that yep. is laying crushed, like, like a piece of coffee? Right there we have the overripe, I told you the machine takes out. The fruits that they were in, a, uh, the beans that they were in a green fruit, they're right there. So that means what the machine takes out is right there. That's throwaway or is that sold for lower quality? Or? That's lower quality. That's the rate. That's, so that's the cheap coffee I get at, at the store. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> to separate the coffee for sizes, we use this method. Okay. You see the sizes of the holders are different. See? Oh my god. That's sizes? the manually way, but we have a machine to separate them for sizes. To separate all the ones that you see that they're in pieces. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, because what we have in our hand, first quality, second and third quality of coffee. Do you still sell this as quality or no? No. No. Well, we, we, we as a company, we don't work with first quality coffee. In this case, the second and third quality, we sell to a local company in Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. They decide in the way that they use and sell. As I Keep told you, on. we just work with the first quality coffee. So, but they will, so they will just sell that as, as, as a... As coffee. Local. As a but, no, but normal. Brands. As a no, no brand or whatever. That, that exactly. coffee that's one dollar. One dollar. Dollar general. Yeah. <laughs> but also, that one is not only for coffee. For example, the caffeine or the energy drinks. Oh, coffee, the extra. Right? Extra. Yeah. Exactly. Or for example, for expat treatments, that they use sometimes coffee. It's for that one. So do you guys uh, supply coffee to other... Uh, like McDonald's or any of them? No, we, it's because we are not producers of coffee. So we are buyers of coffee. That's the only one in the whole world that we produce. But it's to supply this coffee shop with them. Oh, only coffee mm -hmm. shop. Exactly. So the coffee that yeah, you Only, only Starbucks. You just can't find it all over the world. Yeah. That comes, that's, the coffee you have over here just comes from over here. It's not the Yeah, it comes from Like your dark roast and your, uh, what do you call it, that, uh, Light roast, light roast, dark roast. Is that just a matter of how you roast it, or is it in its out as well? No, it's the way that we roast it. Then I want to show you the roast that we use here. The process, how the beans change the color of the beans. Yeah, just the way that we in the different varieties of coffee, do they all come? Do you, can you make all different varieties here, or do they come from different parts of the world? Okay, for example, right here in this farm, we just use one variety. Okay? That is the coffee that we put here, okay? You can mix varieties. Like you, the blonde, the blonde, the blonde, the blonde coffee, the blonde Starbucks. Willow or Veranda? That's, that's the name of the coffee that we have blue. For example, Willow is a blend from coffee from Latin America and Africa. So if you could apply blends also from the country. No. <laughs> Before we are sure that we Seeing have a coffee blend, makes me hungry for coffee. Yeah. It's good so sense, man. The person yeah, that the coffee yeah. that I need for Africa, yeah, the person that the coffee that I need for Latin America, Hey, you look like one so of the coffee have, workers. Have, go out there and get me a single origin. I'll give you the basket. The single origin is, for example, when you go out at Starbucks and you see a coffee bag that says, for example, Colombia. That coffee just from Colombia founders. Right? And when we have blends, they have different names. For example, like Verona. I don't know how you ever see Verona. Yep. That is a blend from Latin America and Asia, for example. The dark roast, the espresso, that comes from here or other? The what espresso is it? roast yeah. is also a blend from Latin America and Asia. It is? Mm -hmm. yeah. exactly. So which one, if I go to Canada to a store and buy one, which one would come from here? Mm. No? No, just, just can bring right here in the... Just for that popular. Uh, also this coffee that you have over here. Just, you just have for the Starbucks. Costa Rica. Exactly. Yeah. Starbucks also, coffee. We don't even supply the other Starbucks that we have in Costa Rica. Just this one right here. Only okay, this so is Starbucks. Oh. Here is just to supply your supply own. this coffee shop. Oh. Exactly. 
very fresh. When bones, when they have flowers, they take a pollen to the one that resists and we apply to the other. So we cross the pollen by hand. It's a like okay. So how is in a no artificial way, it can take around 15 years to get the result. But then <laughs> we have seeds that resist produce a lot and they have quality. We take the seeds and we share them with the coffee farmers. From Costa Rica and from all around the world. That's what I told you at the beginning that we have the farmer support. We export the seeds. And at the farmer support, we teach them how to take care of the caravan, how to produce more coffee in a sustainable way. I say share because it's free. They don't have to pay for the seeds. We are an open source for the coffee farmers. And we share to all the farmers that they need in spite of selling enough coffee to Starbucks. As I told you at the beginning, our mission is ensuring in a sustainable way the future of coffee for all, not for a start. Okay? And that's the main reason that the company puts the farm. The research that we are doing, not the production, because the production is not a lot. And also, this is part also of our verification that we have. As I told you at the beginning, what we are doing at the farm is good for coffee farmers. We are sharing with them what we are doing. It is good for communities, okay? More fruit, so that means more people, so that means jobs. Good for the environment. If they receive, we reduce a lot the use of chemicals in soil. And good for quality, we taste the coffee before we share. So we need to be sure that we share quality coffee. These were elements also that I mentioned at the beginning. They are in a verification that it starts to create the name is Cafe Practice. Cafe enables coffee and farmers equity. With that verification, we buy our coffee and ethical share. So we know what happens before we push the coffee. For example, not only about the quality that we are buying, but we're gonna know if the coffee farmers they're paying the right way to 